basic. So the fact that we can gradually dim colors to show that we have complete control. So we're not doing static on or off. This is gradually decreasing one, increasing one. And you can see you get the full almost spectrum of colors that you can uh, envision here. All right. This actually, so if you put a paper on here, it helps um, diffuse the colors for your eyes can see the patterns better. Because these LEDs are, are kind of clear. They should be frosty for optimal. The button would be right here, okay? So now this is kind of showing, I have, actually have individual control of each LED. Uh, further that, I can actually do two controls of each LED. And finally, just craziness in general. So without the paper, it's those cool. So the idea is the, the frostier the LED is, the better the colors mix. Because right now you have three different light sources going on in there. So if this was perfectly clear, you would see a red, a green, and a blue doing their thing. So if you make it, uh, if you diffuse it enough, you can kind of see colors, yeah. Where did you get your LED? So they're actually really expensive if you buy them in the States. <laughs> <laughs> they're about two bucks a pop at Radio Shack. Maybe you can get them digi keep maybe 120, 130. eBay, you can get 50 of these for about 50 cents a piece. Cool. So ideas, all we're driving around with is there, the mic controller only doing three things. It's doing a fast clock to quickly shift in all the data to the, to the e-shift register, a slow clock that then outputs that data to the LED, and then the actual data line. The data line feeds the shift register. Okay, well I need this LED on, so we give it a one, give it a zero. So I'm controlling 27 different things here with only three lines in my controller. And this is actually almost, you can almost do an infinite amount of LEDs here as long as your shift registers can pump enough uh, current into them. So I mean, it's pretty impressive to do three lines, almost an infinite amount of control of LEDs. So a lot of timing issues. A lot of timing issues, absolutely right. It's actually most more of a software kind of a software feat to really get something to work work properly. Well, that's the value of it is that you can have that flexibility. Absolutely, yeah. Was there any point where you thought this isn't going to work? I'm screwed. Or <laughs> uh, you can take it piece by piece. I mean, I felt pretty comfortable with, confident with the idea, so I, I wasn't panicking ever. But there was, by all means, all software goes. I mean, four hours stuck on a problem, you have no idea. You know, it sucks. Cool.